In this work, we address the problem of 3D scenery construction in underwater environments using a commercial RGBD sensor. Traditional underwater 3D scenery construction is done using sonars, lidars, or standard RGBD cameras, monocular or stereo configuration. There are several challenges in acquiring and processing 3D underwater data. With modern robotic and autonomous solutions, there is a requirement for real-time, high-resolution, and low-cost techniques for 3D scenery construction. Commercial RGBD cameras such as the Microsoft Kinect provide fast, accurate, and economical 3D scanning solutions in a single package. RGBD cameras work in a near-infrared wavelength, which has a high absorption rate in water. However, experiments have shown that these sensors can still work underwater at acceptable performance levels with reduced depth. In this work, we analyze the performance of Kinect V2 camera, which works on the principle of time of flight. The Kinect is tested while operating fully submerged underwater in a customized waterproof housing. Additionally, we propose a time of flight correction method and a fast, accurate, and intuitive refraction correction method that can be applied to the required depth images during 3D mesh generation. RGB and infrared camera calibration is also performed, and the resulting parameters on the final 3D mesh are also evaluated. The first part is the design of a custom built waterproof housing for the Kinect sensor. The housing has been developed using a transparent perspex held in place by a custom designed 3D printed part. Underwater structural integrity was verified using stress analysis to withstand pressures of up to 15 feet below water. To acquire Kinect data underwater, several data acquisition experiments were done in controlled environments, including the offshore experiment lab with turbid water and swimming pool with clear water. Data from Kinect's RGB and IR cameras as well as point cloud data was recorded for post-processing. A complete 3D scanning dataset consisting of various objects was acquired. The 3D printed objects with available 3D CAD models were used as ground truth to evaluate the results after scanning them underwater. A customized windows based implementation including the proposed noise filters, camera calibration, time of flight correction and diffraction correction algorithms was developed on C-Sharp using the windows based Kinect Vision SDK. The software captures data from Kinect attached to the USB port or from the data being played back from the Kinect Studio for post processing. Analysis of the raw data collected shows a significant amount of pincushion distortion in the RGB and IR cameras due to the water as imaging medium. The distortion in the IR cameras is transmitted to the depth image as well. The Kinect IR and RGB cameras were calibrated using a checkerboard submerged underwater. The infrared images required were of very low intensity due to the absorption of light and had to be enhanced using simple contrast adjustment techniques. Kinect reported depth up to 500 mm to 83 mm, whereas the actual working depth of Kinect was 350 mm to 650 mm due to the difference of speed of light in different mediums. We have developed a simple time of flight correction method to correct the distances reported by Kinect sensor during 3D scenery construction. The point cloud acquired is significantly noisy due to suspended particles and other microbial life that reflects the infrared in water. For depth images taken underwater, the noise can be categorized as a salt and vapor type, so a 5 by 5 median filter was applied to the depth images in addition to the bilateral filters in Kinect Studio. We also propose a fast and intuitive refraction correction method that caters for the effect of refraction of near infrared rays underwater, incorporating the effects to housing and the medium. Scene reconstruction results after applying all these steps can be seen in the stable. After applying a proposed method, the features of the object scanned are much clearer as compared to the unfiltered data. Effects of a proposed refraction correction technique can be seen much more clearly when a flat wall is reconstructed in 3D. After processing, we are able to achieve a mean error of 1.3 mm and a flatter 3D mesh after cancelling out the pincushion distortion. Here we can see the results of 3D mesh of the selected objects generated from original Kinect Fusion code and compared to the mesh after applying camera calibration, noise filtering, time of flight and refraction correction. For these objects, we were able to achieve a mean error of plus minus 6 mm with an average standard deviation of 3 mm. The reconstructed meshes were a close approximation of the objects being scanned. The objectives of this research were to evaluate the substitution of expensive and specialized optical depth sensors with economical and easy available sensors for small scale underwater 3D scanning. Areas such as coral reef mapping and underwater slam for a robotic solution in shallow waters can benefit from the results achieved by this research.